Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a pumpkin placemat with a free sewing pattern. This is a fun sewing project for fall and for the kitchen. Um, I like to use placemats not only like when we're eating and you have it under your um, plates and forks and stuff, but I also like to use it as decorating in other places in my home. Um, I put it down um, on a table or a shelf or something and then I like to put things on top of it. It's a nice way to have um, an added bit of color and um, this is a really fun sewing project. Um, it is a little tricky doing the this curved hem here so it's maybe a step up from a beginner because you have to do so opposing curves but it is a quick and simple sewing project. Um, I even added some um, quilting for the pumpkin lines to give it just that extra bit of detail. So let's get started. For this project, you are going to need um, quilting cotton. I'm going to do green for the stem and orange for the main part of the pumpkin. Um, each one will need a half yard for one, half yard of orange for one pumpkin and just like a scrap of green. Um, and so depending on how many you'll make, just know you'll need half a yard for each pumpkin. You'll also need some um, fusible interfacing and fusible fleece, and then you can get the free pattern on my blog. The link is in the description. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out all the pieces. So I have this orange fabric. It is um, double layered, and it is, um, it's not symmetrical. So you need to make sure that you are mirror mirroring the pieces. So I'm placing this here and I'm going to cut it out. So when I did the interfacing, I did it with the patterns right side up. Um, and I, it doesn't matter if you have the glue up or down, but when you then go to do the fusible interfacing, you need to do the opposite. So I did my, um, I cut it out with this facing up and now I'm going to do the other one with the patterns facing down and making sure that the glue is facing the same way I did with the interfacing. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to fuse the interfacing and the fleece to the back of the fabric. This one's going to go here and then this should be the opposite and it's going to go here. Okay, so we are going to sew the stems and you have to match the interfacing pieces with the interfacing like stem with the pumpkin. So I'm going to demonstrate on this. This looks like a huge curve and this looks like a small curve, but if you look at the seam allowance, which is just up here and the seam allowance, which is right here, it actually does fit. So what you're going to do, um, Find the center of both curves and I'm just pinching a fold into it so that you can match up the center. And then um, what I'm going to do on this pumpkin, um, you can sew a stitch just inside the seam line if you want. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do um, some quarter inch clips into this curve and that's to just open it up a little bit as you're sewing it makes it easier to sew 
and I even like to just kind of pull that, stretch that a little bit. So now I'm going to match this center with the center right here and I'm going to pin that. Then um, this is going to swing around and I'm not matching corner to corner, but I'm matching, if this were my seam allowance, um, 3 8 inch in and this is 3 8 inch in, so I want to match up those. I want to match up the end of the seam that it will match up when it's being sewn. So see how this feels like it's too much, this feels like it's not enough, but with this stretching to match, and you just have to slow, sew slow and kind of adjust as you go, then that's going to match up. Then we're going to sew this seam with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. You're going to back stitch when you start and when you stop. Um, some people like to sew from this side um, so that you can see what this side is doing. If you sew from this side, you can see when these are getting, like these wrinkles are getting in the way and it actually um, it helps when um, the feed dogs are moving on this that just feels like it has more fabric. It kind of pushes that in as you're sewing. So I'm going to sew looking at it from this side. We're also going to do the same to the other side of the pumpkin. Now that these seams are done, um, I actually even had to redo this one a little bit. You can see my stitches because the green had gotten um, like a, some tucks, but I have fixed that. Now we're going to take um, pinking shears or you can take regular scissors and do notches. And for the green, I'm going to do the pinking shears to reduce all that bulk. And then on the orange seam allowance, I'm going to clip it even more than it's clipped. Now we're going to take these stem seams and we're going to press them open and it's going to be hard because this is clipped and this is pinked um, and so you, it's like you just got to kind of get in there but try not to burn your fingers to open, you know, to flatten that seam open. Now you can um, sew along this seam allowance if you want to. I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to place my pumpkins right sides together and match up all the sides. I'm going to pin all of the edges. Then I'm going to sew around the outside with a 3 8 inch, inch seam allowance. Make sure you leave like a three inch hole so that you can turn it around through the hole. So you need to backstitch when you start and when you stop. So my hole is over here, 
But before we turn it right side out, we are going to notch and clip. So clip at all of the inward curves. So that's all of these kind of points that go inward at the bottom and I'm clipping all the way into the point without clipping through the thread. The other points are right here at this at the edge of the stem. And these two corners at the top, I'm going to trim like this to reduce the bulk with the um, pinking shears. I'm going to just kind of go around the edge of the pumpkin where it's a curve to reduce the bulk when you flip it right side out. Go to your hole and you're going to carefully turn it right side out. Then you're going to go around and you're going to um, poke out all the corners and curves. I'm going to use a point turner. Now I'm going to press all these edges. You kind of have to roll the seams like this to make sure that the seam comes out to the edge. And you're gonna roll that all the way out. And then make sure when you are here at this opening that this is tucked inside so that when you iron it, you can have that seam allowance um, pressed, tucked inside. Now we're going to sew around the outside with a 1 8 inch seam allowance and that's going to close this hole. Then after that um, you can take the pattern piece and you can um, use the stitch lines as a guide. You can create your own. So after I sew around the outside I'm going to create those lines on the pumpkin, um, those classic lines just by stitching from edge stitch to edge stitch. And that's how you make a pumpkin placemat. Check out these playlists with fall sewing projects and Halloween sewing projects. It's so fun to sew for the holidays. I can't wait to see all of the pumpkin placemats that you make. Please share them with me on social media. And I hope you have a wonderful day.